We're talking with Dr. Stephen Langer. He is the author of Solve the Riddle of Illness. This is the fourth edition. Mood, mind, memory, and behavior. How do these figure in with a thyroid condition? The hormone that it puts out affects mm -hmm. the metabolism of, of, of everything in the body. Okay. Um, we, we've done a number of segments on fatigue. When a person is tired, their mood is off. Right. If a person is, uh, is, has, has clinical or subclinical hypothyroid, they are not absorbing the nutrients they need for their brains to function properly. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, but uh, probably further down the list, there are some people who feel that the, the actual uh, blood supply to the brain may change in people who have low thyroid. So you get a comb I'm not talking about mm -hmm. catastrophically, but if you have problems with energy and stamina, you have problems with, uh, with nutritional uptake, you have problems with, with chronic fatigue, obviously the way it's going to, to, to show itself mm -hmm. most sensitively and, and, uh, and probably at, at first clinically is by changes in, in a person's mood. Uh, a person will be tired, mm -hmm. They'll, they won't be able to get to the bottom of, of, of the fatigue unless they, they look into their diet and look into their, to, to their metabolic status. And if it is not addressed, they'll, they'll become depressed because they're tired. So, I mean, their, their mood is going to be affected. Uh, there, there is a condition known as autoimmune thyroiditis, which is, which is a different subject. Uh, which actually can, can in, in which ca case the, the thyroid can actually be putting out temporarily mm -hmm. more hormone than, than, than it sh should. Act. In other words, you can be quietly sitting home reading a book and your, bo and your body can be putting out antibodies to your thyroid, which starts putting out hormone. And, 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 what, and how it relates to this mm -hmm. is that you can be feeling fine, then all of a sudden your, your heartbeat is gonna, is, starts to go up. And, and you don't know what's going on, and you become, you become anxious, and the more anxious you become, you, the more your mm -hmm. heartbeat changes. And, you, and, and a lot of people uh, d develop full-blown anxiety attacks or can, can actually develop panic attacks. So you can get, I mean, you can get really major mood swings from depression to panic anxiety if, if you have one of the, these And that's thyroid. all connected with the thyroid, and that is a condition of where you're putting out too much Thyroid. A little too much thyroid based on an autoimmune. I don't want to get, I don't want to get, okay. I, I, I just wanted to, to, to bring it up to, to show that it is, you know, this kind of a mood swing, mm -hmm. which is considered, uh, you know, a serious condition. And sure. I mean, to stick with the autoimmune, which, which we haven't gone into in great detail, but which, which is quite common, to stick with this, I've seen people who have actually been diagnosed as bipolar because they go from low energy uh -huh. to, to anxiety. They go to depressed because they have low energy and then they, their thyroid temporarily puts out too much hormone and they get anxious and, the, and, and if it is not diagnosed they're, they're, and, and they, they keep going in and seeing clinicians, sooner or later they're, be, they're diagnosed as possible bipolar disorder. Whereas, and they do righteously have depression and they do, they do righteously have anxiety, but it is not caused by psychological Mm -hmm. primary symptoms. It's caused by, a, by an endocrine dysfunction or an endocrine imbalance and nutritional imbalances. And when you correct this, if that is the underlying cause, a lot of these mood problems disappear. And obviously, if your metabolism is sluggish and you're not getting the nutrients, mm -hmm. your concentration is going to go. So people, people who, are, who are sufferers of underactive thyroid frequently can't think straight they can't concentrate on anything again, which causes them to become depressed, mm -hmm. and uh, and and their short-term memory is is uh, you know is is, uh, is is impaired, and that usually is what we see is is short-term memory. Uh, thyroid certainly can uh, indirectly be associated with long-term memory changes. I mean, no one knows, mm -hmm. for example, the 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 underlying cause definitively of what's called Alzheimer's disease, but certainly nutrients are involved in it. And there are a lot of people now who are doing research into free radicals mm -hmm. as a possible uh, causative factor, it may not be the whole cause, right. in the Alzheimer's. So, it, so in other words, antioxidants are involved in it, certainly feeding your brain properly with mm -hmm. the essential nutrients and Assimilating, in other words, utilizing the nutrients mm -hmm. that you're taking are, are important. These are all impaired with, you know, with an underactive thyroid. So it's imperative for a person 
uh, you know, who is suffering from, uh, from problems with mood, mind, memory, and behavior like everything else, if it's not an acute emergency where you are a danger to yourself or to other people, the first thing to think of is, is your nutritional status, mm -hmm. your digestive status, whether or not you're assimilating the nutrients even if you're getting them, and your endocrine status, and most importantly with that is your thyroid status to make sure that you, metabolically that you're sound and you're able to, your, your nervous system is able to utilize all of these, these, uh, these nutrients to stay healthy. Okay, well thank you for that information, Dr. Langer. We really appreciate it.